Alright, so today we're going to go ahead and create a quick demo on connecting Groovy to a Microsoft SQL Server database. So the first thing that we need is the JDBC driver, which can be downloaded from this URL. I'll go ahead and post that in the notes below. Um, but once you download and extract that, you have something like this, a um, couple of jar files. We're going to use the SQL JDBC4 jar file. So to get started, um, I'm just going to go ahead and create a basic project here in uh, IntelliJ. So I have a basic project called DB Connect. I created a script called connect.groovy. Now before we go ahead and write some code, we need to bring in that jar file. So if we go to File, Project Structure, Libraries, click on this plus sign and click Java. And I'm just going to pull that file in. And it's that for jar. OK, OK, apply. And we're good to go. So now we can start writing some code, but what's the code that we need to write? Well, if we pop over to the API, we can take a look at, um, there's a package called groovy.sql, and there's a class in there called SQL. And it'll give you some good information on kind of how to get started, you know, creating an instance of this, uh, basic selects, executing statements. So there's all kind of great information in here. I'm just going to go ahead and skip back to this, though. So again, uh, to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to import that groovy.sql.sql class. Um, and then what we do need to do is create an instance. So instead of typing, I'm just going to paste this in for you. So what we're doing is we're creating a new instance. This is the connection screen, uh, string. This is the database in my port, my username and password, and the driver. Um, what I found easiest was this, is I just created a username and password or a new user login um, that logged in and, and connected and had a default database. Since you can't really specify a database on this connection string, um, I found it easier to just create a new login for that. So the next thing we need to do is there's a method in the API. If you go over to the API here, um, we'll get into it, but there's a ton of these methods called each row, and there's different things that you can do with them. Um, but one of them is, I just want to go SQL dot each row, and I can pass in a statement. So I'm going to say select star from SW product, and that will actually return to us a collection that we can iterate over. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and print line, and inside of there, I'm going to say it dot one of those fields that comes back is a product ID. So I'm going to say product ID, and then maybe we'll just do uh, product name. Oops. So that's that. Um, so again, we're just going to iterate, iterate over each row that's returned from this select statement. And inside there, you know the default name um, of our return variable in a closure is it. So I'm going to say it.productID and it.productName. Those are two fields in my database. So, if we go ahead and run this, hopefully this should work. We should see our kind of command down here. We should, there we go. So, basically, it'll print out every record in there. So, that's the ID and that's the name of the product. So, as you can see, uh, it's really easy to get started with. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks.